Hi, my name is Ellen Derrico and I'm the Grade 3 Team Leader for Everyday Mathematics 4th Edition. We made a number of content changes in Grade 3 that include moving all the decimal work to Grade 4 and all the probability work to the middle grades. We also revised the Multiplication Facts Strategy strand, the Number Story strand, and the Fraction strand. We introduced multiplication quick looks that are formed of arrays and equal groups so that children can utilize repeated addition, skip counting, and instant recognition of facts to build multiplication understanding. For example, the quick looks on the left, a child might say, Four groups of four is four, plus four is eight, plus four is 12, plus four is 16. On the quick look cards to the right, a child might see two groups of six, or they might see four groups of three. And again, skip count or do repeated addition to find that the total is 12. In grade three, we introduce a number of explicit fact strategies. The first is called adding a group, and it makes use of helper facts, which in early grade, units of grade three are the twos, fives, and tens facts. So a child faced with a fact such as six times four and not knowing it can say, well, I know what five groups of four are, and that's 20. If I add another group, that's 20 plus four, so then I know that six times four is 24. In a similar manner, children can subtract a group. If I know five times four is 20, I can subtract a group of four and figure that four times four is 16. Another strategy is doubling. Children again make usage of known helper facts, in this case, that two times seven is 14. And if you double that, you can figure out four times seven is 14 plus 14, or 28. Notice the usage of the area model in this strategy. Probably one of the most powerful strategies in grade three is the breaking apart strategy. This involves the area model again at the beginning when the strategy is introduced and children breaking one of the factors into two easier numbers so that the resulting facts are easier to handle. So in this case, Seven has been broken into five and two, and children multiply five times six and get 30, and two times six and get 12. The sum of those two products equals the product to seven times six, which is 42. In grade three number stories, we have included instruction that involves explicit support in solving two-step number stories as well as explicit support in writing number models with a letter that represents the unknown quantity. We also made a number of changes to the fraction strand in grade three. One focus is on developing children's understanding of how unit fractions are combined to make non-unit fractions. So for example, children think of three-fourths as three one-fourths. We also introduce a new manipulative, the fraction circle pieces. While exploring the relative sizes of the fraction circle pieces, children learn that the name of the fraction part is linked to the size of the whole. That is, that one-fourth of a whole circle can be the same piece that is one-half of a semicircle. We also introduce fraction quick looks. They help children internalize representations of benchmark fractions and recognize the importance of identifying the whole. So for example, the fraction circle card on the left, a child might say, I see three out of four parts shaded. So that's three out of four or three fourths. Likewise, the fraction card to the right, a child might say, I see two out of three parts shaded. So it's two thirds. We use a number of other tools to, so that children can model and compare fractions. We use fraction strips, which is an area model. We use the fraction strips to make the fraction number line. And we spend a lot of time talking about how a fraction on a number line is the distance from zero. And this summarizes 
the larger changes in grade three, although there are a number of other smaller changes that you'll find as you investigate EM4.